Hello and welcome to the section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to solve this problem on the board using the ideas of superposition like we've discussed. What we're trying to find is calculate the voltage V0 across terminals AB and we want to calculate it using superposition. So in this problem we have a 10 volt source, we have a 7 milliamp source, we have some large resistors 5 kilo ohms and 2 kilo ohms and we have a a uh, current controlled current source, the value of this current source is equal to five times the current flowing in that direction across that resistor or through that resistor. So this is different than last time because we have a dependent source here. All right, I wanted to do one of these to show you what to do. You apply the same principle, the, you, you, you turn off the sources, but the only catch is you cannot turn these off. All right, these are dependent. That means that they're not they're not plugged into your wall just supplying power. They're dependent on other parts of the circuit to work, right? So you can't just turn them off like that because if you do, you change how everything works. What you really are able to turn off is your kind of like your knobs to see how everything works. You're able to turn off the independent sources. The guy sitting on the outside just pushing current in. In that case, that's the 10 volt source and that's the seven milliamp source. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna eliminate this source. This is a current source, so we eliminate it by removing it, by making it an open circuit. And then we're going to calculate this voltage, and that's going to be due to the 10 volt source, because this is the active independent uh, source that's left. I know we have this up there, but it's dependent on everything else happening, so really, it's the response due to the 10 volts. And then secondarily, we're going to remove this from the circuit by short circuiting it, and then we'll calculate the voltage that will be due to the seven milliamp source, and then when we get those two values, we'll add them together, and that's gonna be the result, the response of the circuit, as the superposition of the two different sources that we have, the two different independent sources. So let's go ahead and do that. I wanted to give, give it a little bit up front to tell you, you know, how we're able to do it. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we're going to remove this, this source in the middle. So we're still gonna have this source at the top, like this, still going the same way. Everything has to be the same. And then we'll have a resistor here. Let's go ahead and connect this around like this. We're still gonna have this source right here. This is 10 volts, okay? And the only problem is, or it's not a problem, is that this guy in the middle is gone. It's open circuited. So this is 5K, and this is uh, terminal A and B, and this is V naught. Now this is 2K, and the current I sub B, or I beta really is what it is, is going this way. So everything is drawn exactly the same way. The value of the source is five times I beta. Everything's the same. We just take the current source away by open circuiting it, which is the, the, the valid way to take uh, constant current sources out. So we want to solve this. How do we do it? Well, we you know use whatever method you want, but I'm going to use um, mesh current. That's going to be I sub 1. This up here is going to be I sub 2. There's only two meshes. There's no mesh here because there's no completed circuit on that side. It's open over there. All right, so let's go ahead and start with mesh 1, this guy right here. So going through the source from negative to positive is a voltage rise. So we track that as negative 10. And then when we get to the 2K resistor, it's I1 minus I2. So what we'll have going through the 2K resistor will be I1 minus I2, and we'll just write it as 2K to remind myself of that right now. And then through the 5K resistor will be I1 times 5K, and that's equal to zero. We're all the way back around to where we started. All right, so let's go ahead and multiply everything through and try to 